Hey you, um, I wanted to check in again um, that oh, I'm just so proud of the work that you're doing. So just, you know, once again, make no mistake that you taking the time to spend this time with me is, um, is one, a treasure to me. I am so glad that we get this time together and I'm so proud of you for taking it. Prosperity is a really big concept and it's completely misunderstood and misrepresented and kind of over, um, over, uh, cheapened in, in society in general. So I want to just keep pounding in the concept of what is prosperity. And a lot of times when it is a verb, it is an action word, right? It is the ability to expand. It's sustainable growth. Um, it is, you know, again, for you, it's also being, being healthy, right? That, that it's healthy enough to engage. And sometimes our lives are super tiring and it becomes overwhelming to be who you are and to take in all of this other garbage. And I'm just, I, I just want to remind you, you don't have to be that. You don't have to be the latest in fashion and the latest in this and, you know, giving your life away to other people first, right? And so one of the things about prosperity that I do want to remind you is, is that when you are prosperous, you have an internal system that is functioning first, right? That we are looking within and that, that our, our health, our goodness is already kind of greenlit, right? It's ready to go. And that piece is that we feel sturdy and unencumbered and vital and, you know, Ah, that full breath of excitement, right? That you should be able to get up every day and be like, yay, game on, I'm here again, right? It's also this kind of ability to allow the world to be the world and not have to necessarily engage in it, right? That I don't have to judge whether or not something is good or bad. What I do have to decide is, 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 that, is that appropriate for my health? Does that really get to my goals? And I think the hardest part of of prosperity is not just prosperity as an action, but as a language and then as a feeling. And and when you start kind of putting all those pieces together, it's 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 like completely understandable about why some people really get this messed up and they also get messed up what is wealth and what is prosperity and I'll, I'll do a whole nother thing on that because wow what a what a screw up but going back to you right the number one way to know if you've done your work is to wake up in the morning and understand that pain is not your first emotion that you feel and In order to become prosperous, pain as the first emotion that you feel, if that is, right, that grunt of, ugh, then you know you're sick. And I mean that. Like, like take that in. That first feeling of when you open your eyes and whatever that emotion is, you better pay attention because prosperous people wake up happy. They wake up not in pain. They wake up, you know, ready to greet the day. So when we look at that kind of where are you starting, right? Everybody starts this gig somewhere different. And all of us have a head full of crazy beasties uh, kind of thoughts that are in our head that we have to sort through. And sorting through your own garbage is super time consuming. It is... um, not necessarily an accepting, loving, healthy, um, feeling process that it is, um, it is a, it, it is something that we'll all fight for. Right. So when I look at, you know, how do you get to that point of cheer and humor and release and this, you know, this, this, stunning, beautiful life, right? That we all want and we all envy it, right? We all envy it that other people can have this kind of rock solid world. And most people can get there for a time. They can get there for a moment. It is in 
oppressively difficult to be able to have that strive, that purpose, that achievement 24-7. And that is about motive as well, right? Why do you want this? Why do you want this life? Why do you want this freedom of prosperity? And prosperity is a freedom. And as a language, right, it has this, this excitement to it. It has the ability to nurture and be forgiving. And it is kind of this accepting space and and language uh i mean feelings come out of language so when you look at it as a feeling it's also not being judgmental it's waking up joyous to start the day it is um you know not just gratification or or thankfulness right that it is this constant state that being alive in itself is a is a piece of good fortune this is a good fortune right you're you're here again we're here together that is fantastic and when we go to prosperity as a language i will tell you that the number one thing that i get asked about over and over again by executives all over the world is how do they add prosperous language into their everyday conversations and the way we talk is an energy and a power within the world and language is is a is a miracle because it allows us to align differently and when you start taking that language and adding it to feelings and actions and really start understanding the complexity of how prosperity works it's mind-boggling it is mind boggling and and that that resonance of someone who is just downright glad to be here in the world and and that that healing space of being with someone who who doesn't have to be something other than themselves is powerful I mean, it's powerful. So when you're looking at your own prosperity, I do want you to just kind of put it into some of those categories, right? What are the actions? What are the language? And what are the feelings that you have, those emotions? And when you start aligning those parts of prosperity, you're going to see um, not just abundance and satisfaction and you know that you'll start to build things like creature comfort that you'll be willing to invest in just pure pleasure you know that that it is prosperous to just enjoy the sunset that it is it is this wonderful wide cavernous kind of expanse to be alive and uh, and it's contagious, and it's profound, and it's delicate and fantastic, and and just kind of the 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 fuel of your life force. So I do want you to take time. Yes, I do believe that gratitude is there, but I think that gratitude is this one small part of what is a much larger complex place for us as humans. We are only getting more complex. We are only taking in more information, and we are only becoming more inefficient with our efficiency. So go within, focus on what is you and about you, not what is the world. Don't take on the collective conscious pain. Um, collective pain is, a, is, is just a bad idea. Um, really look inward. Really look at the world that you're doing and really look at harnessing that self, right? And when we look at ourselves and we're willing to be pliable and bendable and willing to um, accept beauty as beauty, not have to change it, not have to create it, but just go, wow, that's beautiful, right? That we take this other moment to, to just kind of curl up in the wow and be willing to kind of be the soil for the seeds of our life, right? Not just like, hey, I want to plant the seed here. No, you must work on the soil that those seeds are planted in. And that is you. You are the soil. And prosperity is that verb, is that action, right? 
the universe itself is built on this idea of its ability to expand, right? It's still expanding. That expansion is the natural state. But what do you want to expand? You want to expand pain? You want to expand hate? You want to expand judgment? I don't think so. That's, that's, not, that's not your gig. That's not why we're hanging out, right? That we're hanging out because we believe that there is sustainable growth. That you do want to be healthy enough to engage in the lifestyle that you want. And that you're willing to set down your fear. That you're willing to kind of be in this vital, fragrant kind of dance with the world. And, and that part is, I think, the part that I'm the most proud of for you. And, and, and really, you know, just keep fighting for it. Because we all had to fight for it. And it is, and it's so fun. So, anyway, I am going to talk to you again soon. Just wanted to give you that little love up right away. And um, congratulations again on being willing to do the work on on. And, and take on that humor and the joy and the release of, of what you're trying to do, which is advance your life in the right way. All right. Be well.